Hello everyone, my name is Ryder Games, and welcome back to a brand new Mario Kart Tour video here on the channel. Today we are going to discuss something very special, something has been rumored, something has been speculated, something has been predicted for a couple weeks now, and everyone's been talking about it. It's a possible anniversary tour, which could happen next tour, since the anniversary of Mario Kart Tour is coming during the next two weeks, and it would be perfect for an anniversary tour. We'll get into it in a couple seconds. One thing I have to say before we start though, you don't have to agree with me on everything, that's all I have to say. If you guys don't have an agreement with me, you always can just dislike the video, but please don't. Just like and subscribe, we're almost there to 300 subscribers, let's do it. I have something very special planned for 300 subscribers, so let's get to there and let's get started with the video. First thing I want to talk about for the anniversary tour is the characters, carts, and gliders that could show up. And honestly, this is something that's been asked to me so many times, and I said I was going to plan it for a special edition video like this one. And I honestly think Gold Mario is a possibility for a special character. Yes, everyone says, yeah, he's been kind of playable in Coin Rush, but he could be a playable character as a normal standard character for a couple of reasons. Number one, if you realize, if you look at the brand new trailer they released for the Super Mario Kart Tour, um, they kind of leaked and accidentally leaked um, Gold Standard Kart. It's not available in the game right now, but that's leaning towards Gold Mario in my opinion since we already have the Gold Glider in the game and we don't have Gold Mario as a playable character right now and it'd be perfect. And I think that's what they're going to end up doing anyway because it seems very likely that'll happen. A lot of people would agree with me on that. And what I think about gliders, I think Gold Glider could return as like a spotlight because I don't feel like they would add brand, brand new gliders, but it seems very unlikely unless if you guys think of something, you always can comment down below your predictions. So now let's get on to the next one. The next one is to talk about tracks. Tracks, tracks, tracks. What kind of tracks would return or be new? The first thing we would think of is maybe new city tracks. I don't think so. I think maybe we would be lucky, li lucky to get New York Minute 3, and that'd be pretty awesome since that'd bring you all the way back to the beginning of Mario Kart Tour when the first New York Minute came out for the first tour, which was New York Tour. And it would be pretty good to get New York Minute 3 to just get you a little bit of memory of what the game started out as like. And it'd be pretty awesome if they just brought back all the city tracks in general, since we haven't raced on a bunch of those in a little while. The recent one we had, which was Tokyo Blur 3, and we got all the Tokyo Blur tracks back, but I would love to go race through Vancouver Velocity again, since I never got to really race through it, and I would like to race through all New York Minutes and all London Loops, and I feel like I'm forgetting one. And I guess Tokyo Blurs again, that, that was pretty fun going through all those too. So I'd love to bring those tracks back. And honestly, I don't know what kind of retro tracks they would bring into the game if they were going to bring new retro tracks into the game for the anniversary, like a lot. I don't feel like they're going to do that. It just doesn't seem like something that would end up happening. So now, let's get on to the next topic, which is maybe new updates. And honestly, I could see them doing some kind of huge update, because what they did with Dr. Mario World is they brought this new mode called... Um, summit mode i think that's what it was called i might be wrong about that but they could add something huge since this is like nintendo's hugest mobile game ever for now at least and they got to do something special because everyone's been spending the money in this game and everyone's been like waiting for something huge to happen in the past couple months and there hasn't been really too much huge news i mean there has a little bit in the data mine stuff but not too much but it would be awesome to get something huge in this game for like an update like a brand new mode like maybe battle mode but i still think it has a half and half possibility with battle mode i honestly could see some kind of new ranked mode system that'd be pretty awesome so we fix ranked mode or something and it'd be much more enjoyable since it is already frustrating enough that ranked mode doesn't work very correct for a lot of people i haven't been having too much problems with it but i can tell why people would love a new ranked mode thing and I think it would be lovely to add a hundred friends into the friends list or even more. So there's no limited amount of friends that you can add in Mario Kart Tour. And I know I've been waiting a long time and a bunch of YouTubers and everyone has been waiting a long time for it to go to a hundred friends. That'd be pretty awesome. And then they could fully add like the game into widescreen since you can only do widescreen in like um, racing mode right now. You cannot do it when you're just 
like in the shop or in the main menu or anything. So it'd be lovely to get that. I think they should also change the game's like picture when you load into the game because it's been like that Mario and Peach one for forever. And honestly, it needs some kind of new version right now. And it's been a long time. I like the old picture so much more, but that's just me. So now we're going to get on to the final two topics. The next one is going to be new modes that they could add and honestly I could see them adding maybe a full brand new time trial mode where you can go through each race that is available during that tour's duration and it'd be pretty good because you can try to see everyone's like high scores on time trials and that's what made every other Mario Kart pretty huge in my opinion. So time trials could be added for anniversary. They could add battle mode as some kind of extra extra challenge or something. If you think about it, they could do that so you can see who, if you get in like the top three, you get like all three stars or something. Kind of like how like Mario Kart DS's battle mode is. If you guys know what that is, then you probably know what I mean about that. And it seemed like it would work more than the normal Mario Kart like battle modes nowadays. But honestly, they could just add some kind of brand new huge event or something that we might not even know ever since like coin of plenty event and green coin event has been so much different than any other Mario cards before since other Mario cards don't usually have events but they could be something pretty huge and something brand new that we might not even know about and it would be pretty awesome to get some kind of new event that we don't even know about because I always love getting new content into Mario Kart Tour and for the final part of this video and the final section of the video Will we get some bug fixes and like all these glitches that have been happening for, for a very long time, will they fix up the controls at all? This is the final section, controls and bugs fixes. Will they fix the bugs and will they fix the controls? If you know what I mean by that, a lot of people really want to have like controller support of this game or just auto acceleration off. So you pretty much can just like explore around and I don't feel like that'd be very likely. But people would still like the option of using a controller even though it might be auto acceleration. It would still be pretty awesome to get some kind of controller support if it would be able to work. And people have modded the game to make it work. So I think it is kind of possible if Nintendo takes the effort and time to do it. And I don't feel like it takes that much effort to get a controller to work in this game. But I feel like it's still possible and it would be lo it would be so great if we get controller support in this game because I always wanted to see what this game is like with controller. Act like an original Mario Kart if you have like your phone or tablet set up to like a TV screen. It would be pretty awesome. And will they fix like all these weird glitches where people get this frozen screen where it just shows this camera part and it doesn't really go let you go through the race, I'll probably show some gameplay. But it doesn't let you go through the race because the camera's frozen. I feel like they need to fix that. The restart race button is kind of broken for me at least. I don't know if other people have this weird glitch. But sometimes if you click restart race, it doesn't ever load until like after the 321 has begun. And it takes like 5 seconds after that and it just doesn't ever load and it gets me frustrated sometimes. So I usually just quit the race and then have to reload into it. It's very annoying. And the final glitch which everyone has been very annoyed about is... A bunch of like multiplayer stuff in the game for multiplayer is so broken because a lot of people have don't have good internet and sometimes when you hit people it just ends up making them go even farther ahead than what it was supposed to bring them to. It's so broken, multiplayer is so broken in this game that at least need to fix some kind of glitches with it. I honestly think they should also fix like the green coin event a little bit more, make it a little bit better. Because some of it is still broken, like it will act like it doesn't give you all the coins and Expert Challenges is broken at the moment right now and they could fix all of this stuff next tour and make this game very polished a little bit more than what it already is because this game is lovely so far. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved making this video and I hope you did like it. So please like the video, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts and feelings about my prediction, speculation, and thoughts about whatever this next tour could be. I hope you guys did like the video. I know I said that a couple of times already, but I hope you guys have good predictions too. I'd love to see everyone's predictions and speculation down in the comments below. Love hearing from you all. Hope you're all doing safe and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.